Hello traders and welcome to the weekend update here on August 13th, 2023. So as you recall, last week um, we were close to making a new high here. Uh, we didn't quite get there and I also mentioned at that time that we had a couple of trades that were going to be uh, some clinkers that were likely going to be closing this week. There was a chance at working both of them maybe into a little bit of profitability. Unfortunately, that didn't happen for either one of them. Um, those of you that are members of the community, of our trading community, you can of course go into our archive trade circle. Uh, it's going to be the, the circle in the lower left of your screen, uh, right below our open trades. And you can go through, there are probably over a hundred trades there now that you can go through and you can play those trades back and you can kind of see what happened every step of the way on those trades, what adjustments were made. Each video explains why the adjustment that uh, we did make was made, etc. So all of that information is going to be there for you, including of course these two trades that you can go uh, through and do the play-by-play -play on them. Now that said, I'll tell you that I, I like the positions that we currently have open. So if we come in and uh, we take a look at our current uh, open position graphs, you're going to see here that we have five trades open. One, of course, is our Google uh, trade, which is a um, uh, a wheel, the start of a wheel trade, and we're up nicely in it, up $244 or so. This is going to be an ongoing trade, so this is not one that, that's going to close. We're just going to keep rolling this short put um, until I someday get assigned Google. Then once I get assigned Google, then I'll start selling calls against it and everyone can see that process. Uh, this trade's in a great position. In fact, I may look at even starting to uh, thin this or maybe pull this off early this next week as it's hit, hitting its you know, 10% profit target or so. Um, again, if our market kind of continues to cooperate here, I'll just start thinning this one out. Uh, we just added this one on, I think it was Thursday of this week. So this one's a traditional broken wing butterfly, kind of our go-to standard trade uh, in the community here. This one's a slightly different variation where it's what's called a flat fly with a long call. It trades a little bit differently, um, but we also have an order out there to thin this trade right now, and I suspect that will start to hit uh, probably on Monday as well, starting to thin this out, reducing the risk in this trade every time it thins a little bit. And um, again, we'll just kind of let that continue to do its thing moving forward. But it's nice that this one uh, got into some profitability literally the next day. Um, this particular trade here is a calendar. So again, as you know, I like to try to mix it up a little bit and, and share different types of trades that I'm doing here as part of the service. Um, the butterflies are kind of the normal go-to for me, but I'm working more and more with calendars as well. And so this one, if our market kind of holds up where it's at, uh, maybe a little higher, this one um, we may very well start popping off uh, some of these calendars for profitability as well this week also. Um, if we get a big down move, we may have to add a calendar into it or look at alternate ways of potentially <clears throat> adjusting this trade. This particular trade down here in Apple, so I don't normally do directional trades, but I had a fairly strong feeling on Apple that it wasn't after its earnings report and after a two to three day sell off. I felt fairly strongly that it wasn't going to continue to sell off much further. Um, so I did decide to put on a trade of vertical. <clears throat> the goal of the vertical here is that the market was going to stabilize or start to go back up. It actually fell off just a little bit more, but has largely stabilized at this point. That of course doesn't mean it's gonna stay stabilized there, but it is for now. And if it continues to stay stabilized there or even rise up a little bit here early this next week, I'm gonna look at adding on probably a call vertical, essentially turning this into a, uh, an iron condor trade. Again, I don't normally trade directional. This is pretty directional when our T0 line is this steep here. Uh, that means I am taking a bullish position in this trade. Most of my trades, this T0 line, I like to keep kind of neutral uh, 
So I can make money if the market goes up, down, or doesn't go anywhere, stay sideways. So that's my normal goal and how I trade for monthly income. This particular trade here, however, I felt there was an opportunity there. Students wanted to see how something like that was done. So I decided to go ahead and, uh, and put on that position as well. And again, I should have an opportunity hopefully this week to turn this into more of a delta neutral trade where we dramatically flatten out that T0 line and then we just wait for some decay to happen. So let's take a look at our market itself right now and just kind of get a, a sense of what our expectations might be here this next week. Oh shoot, I'm on my wrong, uh, uh, let me pause a second here and get over to my, my all right, so I just opened this up in TOSS instead. It's a little easier for me to diagram anyway. So uh, here is the current uh, SPY or SPX, of course, is going to be the same, uh, just 10x, uh, 10 times this. And as we can see, this, this had been some prior uh, resistance here um, going all the way back in February of last year. We sold up or uh, climbed up, sold off, climbed up, sold off. Um, and now we had some difficulty breaking through this area we chopped sideways for a few days and we chopped through we came right up into this general range now this is just some very basic technical analysis sold off right to that area that we had broken through that had been some difficulty rallied right back up to the same point had a sell-off wasn't as deep of a sell-off now that not as deep as a sell-off oftentimes is an indicator that we're going to go higher again and we did, we broke through, we got right up to this resistance area. This resistance area had been support. It was support here, it was support here, it was support here until it broke. Then it became resistance, 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 resistance. And now we sold back off right to where this prior resistance point had been. Again, support often becomes resistance, resistance often then becomes support. So from a strictly technical analysis standpoint, I believe like we've pulled back here to this 4450 range or 445 in SPY, I think we're likely to chop sideways here a little bit, um, possibly even dip a little lower, but I do think we're gonna come back up here to this 4600 or 460 range in the next week, week and a half, somewhere in that general range. So overall, my expectation here is that we're gonna be between this uh, four, call it 460 or 4600 in SPX and the 4300. So that's kind of the general range that I'm expecting us to chop around in here over the next few weeks with probably, again, a little bit of a lean toward the upside because we are still in a bullish market. There's nothing uh, that's happened at this point that looks to derail that, uh, even though, again, we did have a little bit of a sell-off here this week. Earnings season is largely over. We may still have some earnings that could impact the market this week, but the main ones have taken place at this point. So that's kind of my expectations. Uh, volatility is up a little bit. So the uh, VIX over here, if we look, well, it's, it's fallen back off quite a bit. It's now down to the 15 range. It had gotten up to about 18, 19 or so, um, which was good. That helped us get some of those positions on that are now looking favorable to us. And in fact, the one in QQQ, if we come back and uh, let's see, let me... Um, get back to those positions here. So for example, this, this particular position here, we put this on in the queues when volatility was a little bit higher and then volatility subsided a little bit on Friday and that's what helped to get this into a much faster uh, profitable area. So again, that's kind of the key with uh, butterflies specifically is that we want to be able to put them on when volatility is a little higher and then we want that volatility to start moving out of the market. We get into this a lot in the deep dive butterfly class. So anyhow, um, that is it for this weekend of August 13th. As always, please uh, like, subscribe. Those of you that are, of course, uh, members of the community, I'm going to put the wrap up of those two trades that we closed so that you can go do the playthrough on those, learn from those. Um, and um, 
then we'll look to do whatever we need to do on these trades this week, possibly get another one uh, entered as we get one of these closed out. So that's the expectation here for um, uh, next week as we get into it, and uh, we'll see you all in the community. Take care.